Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks, part two. The person who sent me the clip art is having trouble with the clip art. So I thought I'd just show them. There's two, there, uh, one of them is just a tracing deal, but the other one, there is a little glitch in it. So first of all, I'm going to reduce the, the clip art. I really think it makes Corel work better. Our nudge factor is, or our width is less than two inches, so I've got a nudge factor set on two. I'm gonna, I've got it selected. I'm gonna go to trace, bitmap, outline, trace, clip art. It traces it really good, and just say okay, and then nudge it over. Now, if we put it in a yellow box, you can see some of the background that's still there. So what we need to do. Here's kind of the problem. These two pieces aren't together. It'll make life a little bit easier if they're together. So I'm going to select it, go up to object, group, and ungroup it. And then I'm going to grab the black, move it over. Grab the black, move it over. So you see all the white is now gone. But they are still two pieces. So what you can do to make them one piece to make life easier when you're doing that letter is a left click, right click and go to the spot where they're not connected and just take your shape tool. And since you're not cutting it out, you're just engraving it, um, it doesn't really matter how thick this is. So I'm just gonna take this shape and bring it into there, take my virtual segment delete key and delete that. And then I'm gonna take my smart fill tool. And what the smart fill tool is gonna do, it's gonna make it all one piece you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and, and make another letter out of it. So at this time I can uh, turn it the other way and I'm gonna type out, I'm gonna make it a B this time, capital B, make it pretty good, pretty, bi pretty big. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to Times New Roman, which I think in this case is what they picked and is pretty good. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing we did. That's about the right size. So we're gonna to go to object and convert that letter to a curve. And I'm gonna left click, right click. And then once you place your letter, your flower into your letter, please nudge it and do not not do not move it. I'm gonna left click, right click. And this way you can do a bunch of the alphabet if you contour the same Save a map, so I'm gonna to contour to the outside with rounded corners at 0 0.02. I'm gonna to go to object, break contour part. I'm gonna to try to grab the inside contour, which I did. And I'm gonna go ahead and nudge it up over here and I'm gonna go ahead and make it black. And then on here, I'm gonna nudge over the part that we need. You can get your smart fill tool and fill that in. And I'm gonna go and fill in these little bitty spots. I think it might add to it. And I think we got it all. And then just nudge your flower down. And voila, look pretty cool. Whoop. Let me put a yellow box around it. Make it stand out. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.